this is part of a series of videos on using the morph transition in powerpoint we've looked at videos where we then the morph transition effect between typical slides or created curved shapes or even we use exclamation named objects to do the morph transition between one slide and another and links to these uh, tutorials will be put below the video here but there are so many other morph tricks available and uh, one of the best parts is that morph allows you to play with individual words and characters in this tutorial we will look at the morph transition effect in powerpoint to create animated effects using words and in a future tutorial we'll look at the same concept using words at a character level okay so let's start working with the morph animation transition using words i have this empty slide here so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to go and change the layout to say title only and i'm going to go to the insert tab and i'll go to pictures stock images and i'm just going to go and search for the word horse here Let's see what we have here. Yeah, this is a nice one. And I'm going to insert this picture here. So what we can do is we can also go to the home tab here and go to design ideas. And it's going to generate a bunch of design ideas for us. I could just choose one that I like here. There are you could see more design ideas if you scroll down further just go and take this particular one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to type the horse was in front of the van and let me just make it two lines oh, sorry i'm just going to press a shift enter that's great i'm going to get this down i just can just go to design variants fonts and choose some other font style there which could probably work out better you can quickly change the fonts without going and altering the theme fonts because we actually choosing an, another set of theme fonts by getting into the fonts gallery so i'll just go and choose this particular one uh, i'm going to make this a little larger in size and there we have it the horse was in front of the man now go to right click this slide and choose duplicate slide so these two slides are very similar what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to take the word horse and say the word or use the word man here and similarly i'm going to use horse here so these two sentences are different but they have the same words so now i'm going to go to the transitions tab of the ribbon choose a morph transition and since i've got only one of them selected but i want to apply to both of them i get to apply to all but before i do so let's go to the effect options button click it and the default is set to objects but this time we want the transition to happen between words so we choose the words option and then say apply to all there you go let's go and play this presentation slide the horse was in front of the man and the man was in front of the horse so similarly i have created some more variations of the font and uh, i also made two more slides the what came first the egg or the chicken or the chicken or the egg and let's see how these look the horse was in front of the man the man was in front of the horse what came first the chicken or the egg what came first the egg or the chicken so as you can see this is a wonderful way to play with words and create a very very smooth transition effect that gives you a wonderful animated result you know 
So just go and play with this stuff and I'm sure you'll enjoy working with this one. If you have any questions, please uh, type in the comments below and uh, make sure you do subscribe to our channel and like this video and have an amazing day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign Make better presentations Fast